Hello everyone, my name is Encore. Um, it's an add-on, it's uh, to the next, to the other video uh, for autism. Rocking, uh, I also rock in my sleep. It also helps me lucid dream and just go to sleep in general. But today I'll actually be talking about uh, maladaptive daydreaming. So, if you don't know what that is, basically, someone it's when someone daydreams way too much like it gets out of hand and so it starts affecting their lives in negative ways for example at school or at work or it affects academics so maybe they can't even get a job let me it's not it doesn't go that far but so I have maladaptive daydreaming. It's just another one of the disorders I have. One of the four. I'm gonna really tell you my experiences with it. I wrote down a list and um, just crack onto it. So, for a short period of time, I actually had people in my head just talking to me uh, daily. Just it's, it's sometimes not just limited to daydreams. Sometimes you just have them talk in my head. And they're like characters you make up. Where you're like, uh, you know, imaginary friends. Except, nah, you know, you're not a child. And you know it's all in your head. And I feel like a crazy person talk, talking like this. But, yeah, people in your head. Nice company, gotta be honest. It's not too bad, I'm not saying anything like to beat them up or... It's not like schizophrenia, that's for sure. It's not like an outer voice telling you to do things. It's more localized in your head, like, like your thoughts. Moving on to another one. It damages me academically really, really bad. Um, I can't stay focused for long. My, uh... My actual, the actual plot and everything you hear about when it comes to maladaptive daydreaming isn't actually for me. I'm more, no, I more daydream of trauma and bad things, and sometimes good things, but most mostly bad things or, or good things or just whatever. Um, the actual plot and stuff are in my lucid dreams, which is also sometimes nightmarish. But sometimes it's not, and it's really nice. Um, stops me from reading for some reason. I don't know why this is so, this affects me so bad at reading. I'll read for like an entire. I'm getting better. I I would read for something on a page, and I'll even like what I'm reading, and I'll still get distracted, like SCP novels. Another thing. Um, waiting, I daydream. That's nice. Uh, just, it's just generally distracting. I'm gonna tell you about a story in real life. This is how it affects me. Uh, someone was telling, uh, my teacher, my science teacher, who gave me a lot of work, like five notebooks a day, and then wh whatever. Okay, my science teacher, who I like a personality, but not a teaching set. Okay, <laughs> my teacher, <laughs> um, she was telling us a story about some who someone who died. And I was just, I think it was a relative or something, and I was just sitting there laughing because I just thought of something funny and I was in my own head daydreaming. And everyone looked at me like I was a crazy person. Everyone. And yeah, it also helps with me, uh, it also helps me lucid dream. So there's a bit of progress and cons, but it's mostly cons? No, but. I don't know. That's just lucid dream for you in my experience. And um this is Einquar out.